developing an RPG is a particularly heavy undertaking, especially as a solo project. 2022 has some great prospect for indie JRPG fans, especially if you like a retro look and feel with modern gameplay. What I'm going to show you here are some of the best indie team-based JRPG expected during 2022. If you like some of them, don't forget to wishlist them because this will help the devs a lot. Anyway, let's go! Jack Move is a pixelated cyberpunk JRPG with some serious style. As vigilante hacker Noah, he'll explore the dark underbelly of a futuristic world to solve the mystery of your father's disappearance. The team based battles include some rhythm elements as you can swap Noah's combat software mid battle to shift your focus where you need it most. The game story gameplay and presentation have already made it a bit summit international award winning and a demo called Jack Move Icebreaker is coming to Steam in March. The full game is set to launch later this year and frankly we can't wait. Bidden Studio, the developers behind 2020 Zelda-like Lena's Inception, are taking their sense of humor and charm to the monster-catching genre. On the island of New World, people utilize the power of the local fauna not by catching them, but by recording them to retro cassette tapes. Playing back the tape allows the user to transform into the creature recorded on it and wield its skill in battle. Each party member will have their own collection of tapes and, as the bonds between carders grow, they will be able to fuse their monstrous forms to create new creatures. With a great blend of pixel and hand draw art, Cassette Beasts is sure to be a must-play for Pokemon fans. There's no release date listed yet, so be sure to follow the game for updates. Solo developer Jeremy Nogani has a fantastic setting in a small saga, a blend of Red Wall and the Borrowers. The game tells the story of a hidden kingdom of rodents underneath modern London. As a party of mice, squirrels, and other miniature heroes, you'll take the cast of items from the humans above and use them to overthrow a corrupt regime and defeat the mighty god who stole your tail. Small Saga is exquisitely detailed, from the gorgeous combat sprites to the flourishes on the map. Nogan is really showing his skill with this game. A demo is available right now and the game is listed as coming soon. Young Atlas. Rising Spire aims to capture the feeling of classic Final Fantasy and Persona while bringing something new to the genre at the same time. Exploration and team-based battles combined with a deep progression system and tons of side content to create an immersive RPG experience. This is why I By deciding how your character will develop their master of different fighting style, you can create endless builds that encourage multiple prey throughs. The Carter and Combat animations looks fantastic, and Rising Spire promises both serious and quirky storylines to pull players in. Quests are tracked in a journal, letting you follow your Carter's journey from an in-universe perspective. The game will be entering early access on Steam sometimes in 2022, and if the Kickstarter campaign continues to grow in its final weeks, a Switch version will be in the cards as well. <laughs> Australian developer Critical Games' first 8-bit adventures certainly merited a sequel. In 2022, it's final happening. With a large world map, memorable characters, and a killer retro soundtrack, 8-bit adventures too look like it will be a great time. 
If you're a fan of 20th century JRPGs, this is one to check out. Of course, there are modern quality of life improvements that take some of the more frustrating elements of old school JRPGs away. Party members can be freely swapped mid battles, and there are no random encounters to hinder your exploration. The monster sprites in particular are top quality. Try the demo and if you like it, the full game is scheduled to launch later this year. Crystal Project introduced free roaming Metroidvania exploration to the classic JRPG format. While it's certainly possible to just stick to the story and focus on saving the world, the game encourages and rewards stepping off the beaten path. With no invisible walls or low time between zones, the only limit to exploration is your willingness to experiment. And of course, any proper JRPG has scattered customization options, and Crystal Project has that in spades. Like its approach to exploration, the game allows players to experiment with unique builds and teams. There is demo available if you'd like to explore the world ahead of time, and the full game launches on the 31st of March 2022 on Steam. Boreal Mist Studios debut is a return to the gameplay style of classic PlayStation JRPGs with modern aesthetics and systems. The story makes use of tried and true plot points, Lion and Heaven, fresh from the Academy Adventures, will face off against a powerful and aggressive empire and work to fulfill a prophecy. The game promises a massive world map with more than 80 hours of content between the storyline, exploration, puzzles and of course combat. The combat in Project Apex deserves special mention as the enemy AI will add up to the player's strategy. After dozens of hours in any RPG, it's easy to fall into a routine and find the most efficient means of winning battles. Project Apex AI means you'll have to stay on your toes if you don't want to be outsmarted. The game is expected to launch in late 2022, but the demo is available now on Steam. Waylands open the protagonist stuck at home while a global crisis forces people into lockdown, a highly unlikely situation that I'm sure nobody reading this site can relate to in any way. When a magical portal opens in their bedroom, inviting them to a land of adventure, the real story begins. This is an RPG with heavy point and click elements, fusing two great genres that are a natural fit. The game is a project from solo developer Martin Majak and features some really delightful art and animation and a lovely retro inspired soundtrack. There is plenty of story and lore to dive into as well. The demo is currently available and the game is scheduled to launch in the quarter 2 of 2022 on Steam. The inspiration that Circadian takes from Earthbound is readily apparent in its visual style, but the title by Jeff Game Dev takes a more grow up approach to the beloved style. As a group of young adults in the village of Mount Olive, players must fight back against the unrest rhythm, a phenomenon that is causing strange occurrences all over town. Circadian has plenty of quickness and snark, and even in mini games playable in the town's arcade. The game is scheduled to release in May of 2022, specifically on Mother's Day. No doubt, an ode to the game's root in the venerated series. On Steam. Exiled from her kingdom, Lambda becomes a mana finder, a lone explorer who searches the world for the mana stones necessary to keep human settlements safe from the dangers of the wild. 
The game's developed world and characters are brought to life through excellent pixel graphics and a combat reminiscent of Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Focuses on weapon choice and elemental affinities over stats grinding. Survival and exploration are key gameplay elements as well. While Mana Finder is very short by JRPG standards, it boasts two entirely different final chapters accessible by the choices the player makes throughout the game. You'll need to play through it at least twice to see everything. There is a demo available and Mana Finder is expected to release in 2022 on Steam. This video and here, let me know what you think about this 10 JRPG in the comments below. If you like some of them, don't forget to wishlist them because this will help the devs a lot. Anyway, now it's time to click the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel and also consider supporting us through our member program, the Patreon page, the Buy Me A Coffee page. And don't forget to visit turnbaselovers.com. Wish you the best. Ciao!